Meanwhile, new preliminary findings from Israel suggest the Pfizer vaccine might be less effective at preventing the spread of the Delta COVID-19 variant. The Israeli Health Ministry says that effectiveness fell to 64% since June 6th. That's down from an estimated 94%. The decline coincides with the spread of the Delta variant and the lifting of social distancing restrictions in Israel. However, the vaccine was still 93% effective in preventing hospitalizations and serious illness from COVID-19. Meanwhile, Pfizer has not yet commented on this new data, but says existing studies show that its shot works against a number of variants, including the Delta variant and here at home, Michigan's vaccination rate is now at 61.9% and then later today we do expect to get updated coronavirus case and death numbers as they are now updated every Tuesday and Friday only. A Novi man charged in the January 6 deadly siege on the US Capitol will face a judge this afternoon. Several FBI tips help to identify this man, 29 year old Trevor Brown. Prosecutors say the Brown posted images on his Facebook page about being involved in the Capitol riot. Surveillance video also shows Brown outside of a tunnel at the Capitol. He is the 11th Michigan resident to be charged in the deadly attack. Also today, former UAW Region 5 Director Vance Pearson is scheduled to be sentenced for his role in the union's corruption scandal. Pearson pleaded guilty of embezzling union funds for things like golf, cigars and clothes. In 2019, the UAW International Executive Board removed Pearson from his position and stripped him of his union membership. Prosecutors are asking for a 14 month prison sentence. We'll keep you posted on the outcome of that. So, to come here at noon, the fallout continues from the latest cyber attack. We'll tell you.